Sadhguruji, there is obviously an element of oversight that is required. Now, are you saying that temples that are managed by their own authorities or by the community will be able to overcome temptations of pilferage, institutional malfeasance? Uh, would it be okay to do uh, that in that sense? I mean, you're going from state control and directly handing precious assets really to individuals who may not want to work in a transparent manner. Now, how do you therefore mitigate against that, sir? Uh, Rahul, first thing is the assets don't belong to the state, the assets belong to the community, all right? So we are not… you are not giving any charity to the community, it is something that always belonged to them. Because of this aberration of occupation and external rule, these things have happened. It's time to correct that. Now the question that you are asking is, can you trust the Hindu community to be straight, to manage things well? If eighty-seven percent of the population in this state neither have the competence, nor the integrity, nor the commitment to manage what is very precious to them, and somebody else has that commitment and integrity, I'm very sorry, that is not the way. Let the political parties clearly state, we think the Hindu community does not have people who have necessary integrity, nor competence, nor commitment to manage these things. Let them say it, let's see how elections will happen. I am raising this, I am raising this issue, I am not a protester, I am not an agitator. This is a democratic right, pre-election, before the election, I want not myself, every citizen in this country to state what they want. Where before the election you don't say anything, after the election you cry, I am not that kind. Before the election I will say what I have to say, post-election whoever people elect, I will bow down and support. The, those people, because this is my idea of democracy. Democracy means bowing down to people's will.